Okay guys, we're gonna take a walk back in here. Pots preserve. Those are hunts. Wild hog dog season. Hmm. Well, what's the day today? 14. 12. It's 12. So it just started. We're going to be going back in there. I'm going to read the sign real quick. Okay, guys. We're going to walk back through here. And this is the road I had the bear encounter on. We didn't bring a hiking boot. We got Monkey a new pair of hiking boots. They're steel toed. Right, Monk? Yeah. There's trails. They got horse trails through here. Mm -hmm. I forget how many miles of trails. 20 some? Yeah. Miles of trails through here. The Witlacoochee River is 100 miles in length. Yeah. 110 miles. Huh. Now, I don't know if that's just here in Florida, because I do know it goes up into Georgia. Yeah. So. Well, where does it start in Florida? I don't know. Huh. But. So, I come walking up through here. It's like 11 o'clock at night. And uh, I kept hearing this something over in here. Now the only thing, see there's a fence here. Now back through there I figured that bear came out where I just showed you that trail. Because there's a fence, see? Yeah. Because right about here I just felt like something was watch watching me, you know, looking at me. Mm -hmm. So I turned around and that bear was about to that second tree. Not this tree, but that tree there. And when I would stop, it would stop. So I turn around, I start walking, and I hear it walking. So I turn around, and then it was about by that tree. I'd stop, and it would stop right in the middle of the road. So I just kept walking, and that's what it did for a while. And I'll show you when we get up here a little ways. where I started walking backwards. <laughs> but, but I was, uh, you know, I was hoping I wouldn't fall because, you know, I didn't want this bear thinking that I was being aggressive and make any sudden moves. Because I was talking to this bear, right? And I was going, okay, bear, just give me a little bit. I'll be out of your territory. I was just talking nice and calm to it, just like I would a person. And uh, it's a big tree over there. Yeah, huge. So, See, isn't that pretty in here? <laughs> and I mean, this was the longest walk I ever took in my life. <laughs> Let me tell you. It was pretty long and when you took me back to the truck. See, that's all. You had to come back by yourself. Yeah, I came back by myself because yeah. I took her to the truck. See, that's all mowed back through there. Now, I don't know if that's somebody's yard, if that's private property or not, or if that's part of the, the camping here. But I'll show you when we get up here where I started walking backwards. So I'll turn you on when we get up around this turn here. Okay, so right up here, I can see the clearing. Or, you know, it was starting to clear up there. That clearing right there. And up. I could see that because my eyes were adjusted to the dark by then. And then, uh, and it had a pretty nice moon. This is, uh, I don't know if that's power or telephone line there. I think it's telephone line there, isn't it? I don't know why it's so low. But. Over there. Yeah, I know. Um, Maybe that's from the hurricane. I don't know. Um, so as soon as I seen this sign, is when I started walking backwards. By this time, see that stump right there? I was about right here and that bear was about to that stump so i started walking backwards 
and it would walk and I'd stop and I'd say it's easy easy bear it's okay it's okay I stop like this and it would stop but it, every time I walk it seemed like it was getting a little closer so I walked backwards I'll show you all the way up like I said this is the longest walk I ever took in my life so <laughs> walked all the way up here backwards line ends right there <laughs> what are you looking at there's nobody behind me so I'm still walking backwards walking backwards so now I know I'm getting close now right so <laughs> I'm right here right about here uh, that's a little bit closer I was only about 20 feet from this guy and uh, right see that line right across there now this is closer than what it looks in the camera. Let's just mark this off. There's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen feet. About eighteen feet from him. So anyway, I'm back here. Like I said, as soon as I broke out in this open area, the bear just stopped. And I started walking backwards again like this. And the bear just stood there for a minute. And it was it was kind of making some noises, but it didn't sound threatening like any <clears throat> nothing mean. But it was just kind of <sighs> like that. And I got about right here. Like I said, he was still standing there. And when I got about right here, he just turned around and just waddled off that way. So I knew I was okay. So now I don't know what that mailbox is for. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they have a mailbox here? Ain't been used on any tire tracks. No mail. Okay. Someone could read the sign. Ooh, it's wet in here. So, then I knew I was okay. But I still had to go back down in through there. And I kept hearing other animals. Um, they were probably like armadillos and stuff, but I kept hearing other animals through there. This is a pots preserve here. They're a uh, welcome thing. So, pretty cool. <laughs> you are here. <gasps> They know where we are. Mm -hmm. So, all right, I'm gonna start walking, Mama. Yeah, let's slow down a little bit. I'm all right. It's all right. So, anyway, just around this turn here a little bit is where we'll really break out in the open. But this is the open spot where the bear finally left. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good little hike. Mm -hmm. uh, I, it's not quite a mile, I don't think. Now the river, it's a mile. From the river, or from here where we was fishing the other day, to the dock, or the boat ramp, where we put the boat in, where we launched the boat and took the boat out, is right pretty close to about a mile. And I had to row that 16-foot Ginu with two batteries, all our gear, trawling motor, and I had to row that boat, well paddle it actually, with one paddle for a mile. <laughs> so, I'll kick you back on when we get closer. Okay, so, now we're getting, we're getting close to the camp area now, so, my tripod feet keep wanting to slide out of this thing. So, I love that old tree right there. The way the branches kind of cover the uh, cover the road. Now, there's a road going out of Floral City. Um, it's like I don't know, a quarter mile maybe. Uh, of just 
trees like this on both sides and their branches kind of like grow together it's so beautiful in there so let me see right over there's the river there's a, a shelter there I don't remember seeing that shelter I don't remember seeing that shelter before I'm sure it was there but we were walking this way and it was we were we we were walking this this way and um, and it was about dusk <clears throat> and uh, by the time we got the truck and everything it was clear dark so yeah, that's pretty cool we'll go over and check this out wow. okay check that out Okay, we'll, the, we'll go down. Is that their dock or is it private? I don't know. We'll go down and look at that here in a minute. Yeah. Wow. I would say it's, we can use this. There's a fire thing there. Someone moved it over here. Barbecue grill. And there is a shelter here. This is cool. <clears throat> An old wrought iron. I don't know what used to be here. Maybe a fire pit. And so I'm guessing this is like a community thing because right there's the river. Just right through them trees there. Got picnic tables. So this is this is cool. This is pretty ornate. Mm -hmm. Wow, eh? Rod iron. So I'm guessing this is part of it. So I'm going to walk down through here. I guess it's kind of like a community gathering center. Maybe even a shelter from the rain. There's a picnic down here. There's a little boot slipper here. This is where we seen that guy fishing the other day. Yeah, we did. There was a guy fishing here. I could see the top of that place. I just thought it was somebody's house, but now I know. Nice, hey, we could come out here and charge some stuff. Well, yeah, but I wouldn't back our truck in here. No. I mean, this is just a slip more for like canoes and stuff I, I wouldn't back our truck down in here and never get it out but okay so yeah this is pretty cool okay right up there I'll try to hold you guys steady for a second and right up where you at that is that alligator that that tree limb I showed you guys that someone painted up like an alligator that's it right there and just beyond that right over in there that's that's where we parked the boat and we was fishing right in there that's where we're going so we got a little more walking to do so pretty so yeah this is cool there's a boat coming so all right we're gonna start walking again okay sorry about the wind guys uh, so just remember this is also a day use area so that's probably for picnicking and fishing and stuff so that's pretty cool but I love I love these trees here it's good to know if it got real bad but I mean our truck will be right there by us but <clears throat> I love these old trees. So that's pretty cool. We can go back there. See, I don't know if that's if that's cut out like that for it just stops right there. So I don't know if that's just a, if that's a place for tenting or or what. This is all primitive. Again, guys, there's no electric, no water. If I remember right, 
think these bathrooms are just kind of like an outhouse. So, uh, there's some stuff down here. Not bad though, it fared pretty well. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. Hear a squirrel or something. Okay. Yeah, this is all right, man. So we're gonna be going up here, right around that turn there. And I'll kick you back on. That's cool. Fence thing right there. God, I love it. It's nice and cool back in here. And yeah, like I said, we got we're still getting some breezes left over from the storm. But uh yeah, apparently it's still closed, but like I said, I can't call them because uh I said the offices the office was closed today where I could where I could call. So kind of sucks because the monkey's got to leave early in the morning and I really didn't want to come out late I kind of wanted to come out and have everything set up for her. by the time she got off working and made it out here so I could always say if somebody did say something, I could always say, well, you know, I didn't get the email. My phone was out, which is kind of true, because our phones were out. <clears throat> so, we're going to keep walking just a little ways farther. Okay, guys, so we're getting ready to come up into the camp area, area itself. So... Again, there's the bathrooms. Uh, we saw them from the other day. I was thinking this is where the bear followed me, but it wasn't. It was back there where I just showed you. Uh, there was a guy camping out here the other day. He said he would probably be here a couple weeks. He was on his bicycle, but I don't see his tent. And they may have came out and told everybody to that they need to evacuate but enjoy your public lands okay now <clears throat> that's the picnic table we was at when our boat was just right of that picnic table he had his tent kind of right in here he was on a bicycle so but yeah this is just all this is it's just like a there's a big bird there. I didn't even see it. This is just a, an outhouse. Kind of swampy right in here. So there's picnic tables over there. Looks like there's a tree down there. Yeah, that boy was camped out right in here. And we were fishing right there is where we parked the boat and was fishing right in this area here uh, Down there's where I want to check out It's kind of in some trees. It is swampy in here, but uh, Looks like the water did come up a little bit I Hate when people leave their trash like that if you can pack it in you can pack it out so there's a spot right there. And again, here's where we were fishing. Water did come up. So, good fishing spot here. She brought her damn poles. <laughs> and this is cool. It's one of those, just uh, when you want to cook, you just flip that up over and then you got your your uh, your grate to cook on 
Alright, so there's somebody there. Monkey's having a break. I'll go take a break with her. Yeah, so somebody's camping there. And uh there's a nice little spot here. You can pull the boat right up there. Yeah. But I also wanted to check this out here. Yeah. I mean that goes way but there's a sign back here, so I figured the trails go way there's 20 some miles of trails in here. But I also wanted to that's a nice spot right there. Not a lot of room for fishing for two, but there is here. <clears throat> oh yeah, look at this, babe. Yeah. Check this out. Yeah. See here's what them grills do. When you want to cook, flip it there. Of course we would have our tripod set up. I can pull the boat right up here. Yeah. Tie off onto that tree or whatever. And she can get out of the boat right here. And we can fish right in here. We can fish. Nice we can fish right here. Fish right out through here. A little tight for two people, but still, I mean, this is nice. You know? Yep. Set the tent up right over in there. Mm -hmm. I think That's they. The trail, I think, back there. I think it's where they had their, their tent was right in here. Yeah. It's swampy here, so if it rains, we'll be in the mud. Yeah. But. So if you go back by that tree. But it's no big deal. Yeah. Uh, but this is nice. Like I said, pull the boat right up here. Dock it right here, mama. And tie the back off right there. You know? Yeah. Just pull it up here, tie the front, tie the back, and our boat be sitting right here. Yeah. And she could fish right there. And I could get in the boat and cast out that way. Yeah. Or vice versa. Yeah, so I like this. This is nice. But I think they had their tents right in here because they had a couple of tents. Yeah, they had side by side basically. Right here, so got some I know I hear him <laughs> she loves the owls so yeah I mean if it wasn't going to rain I mean we could actually put our tent right here yeah. look at this big tree look at that that thing is massive look the way it grew I think it was two trees and it fell over years and years ago or something. Yeah, if it wasn't, if we thought it wasn't going to be so wet, we could put our tent right there. Yeah. And we're kind of hidden. There's a picnic table over here. Yeah. So this is kind of cool. And I mean, like, cool as in, it's cool back in here. So not a lot of sun. And we're sheltered kind of from some rain. Okay, see there's, so this must be a site here. But those are trails, hiking trails through there. So you got a fire pit here. Looks like somebody ran over that one. You can put your tent there. I mean, you got a picnic table you can move over here. There's another grill there. And there's a hiking trail there. So that way people can just come through and hike through there and I'm positive there's trails up through there way up in there so yeah oh, wow. nice huh yeah see there's hiking trails there monk yeah and they're all marked with the orange thing you can't get lost there's another one underneath that big tree yeah yeah or oh. yeah there's a spot over there underneath that tree there's a fire ring and picnic table oh, they give you a little barbecue. Yeah, there's the fire ring there's the picnic table so there's a camp spot there campsite there yeah. so cool mm -hmm. I just can't wait to get out here give you guys a pan around a pan around that's where we came in where we were fishing Is that a gator out there? and these are just the probably just the uh, campsites 
and it goes for miles back in there. You guys want to see a gator? Looks Let's like go one. see a gator. Monkey spotted a gator. Can you see it? Right there in the water. There he is. Yep. Huh? Yep, that's an alligator. The baby one? Uh, he's not real big. Yeah. He's probably, he's probably four or five feet long. But he's yeah. gonna hit land. He's going over there. Yeah. Searching for food. Yeah. So, there you go, guys. <laughs> I think, Mont. Yeah. You ready, ain't you? Yeah. I'm disappointed that it's closed. Now, like I said, I didn't know it was closed. Because <laughs> yeah. they, they can't they can't find you, you know. All they can really do is say it's closed, you know, make us pack up. But what the hell, at least we tried, right? I mean, like you said, they left him alone. Yeah, they did. Why did they leave him here? So. <laughs> Alright. Kick you back on when we get to the truck or if we see an interesting animal or something. I'm just discussing with Monkey that maybe there's some Sam Squanches around here. What do you think, Monk? Never know. You want to see a Sam Squanch? Mm -hmm. Huh? I don't care if I see one, I see one. Would, cool. would you be scared? No. No? Nah. I'd be scared. Until I saw it. I said if you seen one, would you maybe. be scared? Maybe, I don't think so. No, you see a big animal, eight feet tall, about 800 pounds. I'm more scared of a friggin' bear, I think. <laughs> well, as long as he didn't eat me, I'd be okay. I know what a bear, you know, I mean. Maybe they're friendly and they would I've, shake your hand and be nice. I've never, never seen a Sam Squanch, but I think that would scare me more than a bear. Because I don't know anything about them things. Yeah. Never seen one, never seen footprints of one. I heard tree knocking before. Uh huh. Uh, out in the woods camping, but I've heard some weird screams that I could not identify. That's up in Ohio. Because uh, I knew all the animals out there, you know. I knew what everyone sounded like. I, I've heard some screams a few times. Mm -hmm. No, it wasn't a fox, it wasn't a coyote. We didn't, don't have any big cats in Ohio. We don't have any bears, so I don't know what it was. And I heard, I did hear some tree knocking before. I've never seen footprints. I've never seen a Bigfoot, but maybe this will be the time when we get, I've been trying to camp here for three freaking years. I know. Just get reservations in there. We end up doing something else or we didn't. Didn't have the equipment or something happened. No, they was or, always they were always closed. Or they were closed, yeah, or they were full. Yeah. No, they were just always closed, like hunting. But uh, Flying Eagle still been still closed. Yeah. But uh, so I don't know. Keep this closed for the rest of the year. Who knows? Well, I doubt it. I don't know. I don't know. Should have brought the code to see if it works because I'm sure they can change that code. Yeah. I don't know. Just play it by ear, I guess. So, Bigfoot, if you're out here, come and say hello to us when we're camping. Yeah. Say, monkey, she wants to shake your hand. <laughs> I'll say, this is a monkey. I like to eat monkeys. <laughs> So we're walking up here and I see this concrete platform here. Pretty good size. Like a platform of an old house or something, maybe at one time like a cracker house or uh, as it goes, goes clear to here. So it's probably a good 20 feet. So that's pretty interesting. Don't know what that would have been for. Like I said, unless it was an old house at one time. So, unless they had one of those set up here at one time, maybe. Oh, A shelter. Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah. But, yeah, because there's the shelter we were at right over there through them trees. Again, the river. 
It's the only one too. I thought they would put so, more out back, but they don't. Pretty neat. So, well, this is for day use here. Yeah. For people to come out, have cookouts and picnics and fish. And, right. Uh, and back there where we are at, that's the uh, actual camping spot. So. It's still a cool place. We could always come here. If it's it beautiful. Really if it really got bad. Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys. Just got out of here in the nick of time. The mosquitoes the size of hummingbirds are out and they're just starting to bite. Come on. Yeah. So. We don't have anything. No. We just wanted to come scope it out. So. Yeah. Trailhead kiosk. That's that way. We already seen the kiosk. But. So. Yeah. Cool place. Yep. There's the truck. And there it is. Owned and maintained by the Southwest Florida Water Management District. Pretty nice there, huh? Yeah. All right, guys, so here's our little hike for the day. Ooh. I'm done. Yeah, me too. And we'll see you guys on the next one, huh? Yep. I'll keep you updated on whether we go or not, so. All right. Yeah, we'll find out something maybe tomorrow. Yeah, you never I'll, know. I'll call them tomorrow and morning and see what's happening see if we can still come out but see in a way i hate to do that because i'm thinking about just coming out mm. and you know like i said all they can do is say well you know it's closed you're gonna have to go mm. you know yeah but so with that guy that guy's yeah. out there so why is he allowed to they nobody else they didn't bother him and i know uh -huh. he's got reservate or he reserved his spot he said for four days and then he said he was going to try to stay here as long as he could so well, yeah, he was just going to reserve again. Yeah. yeah. So, which he would have already done. So they would have canceled his. Yeah. But they, you know, he's still there, so. Yeah. I mean, he's not there at this time because his bicycle's not there. I'm sure he rode into town for something, but. Yeah. His tent and all his gear's still there, so. Yeah. See, I could always say, well, I, I didn't, you know, <laughs> I didn't get the email. Right. And there's no signs here saying, you know, they should put a sign up. Well, if you have reservations, they are canceled. Yeah, there's nothing to indicate so, that I mean, at all. You know, uh, my phone was down. I, I didn't get any, you know, I didn't get any email. <laughs> I mean, like I said, all they can do is say, is say, well, you know, it's closed. You know, we're going to have to ask you guys to pack up. That's fine. Right. It's no big deal because, you know, we're going to have a truck right there. Yeah. So, it's no big deal. We'll see what's going on. But if I call them and ask them, then I can't use that excuse. No, because I'll know. Yeah. All right, we'll play it by ear. We'll discuss it later. So anyway, Shea Bird and Myth the Man of Legend, gone for now. Monkey says she's out. Bye, y'all. All right, <laughs> bye, gu bye, bleh. Bye, bye, guys. Take care. <laughs> you funny.